Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, who you might be dealing with, what are the energies between you, and what can you expect in the near future. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. All right, let's get into this for Cancer Spirit. What's in their person's heart space? What are they thinking or feeling about cancer or this connection at this time? Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Okay, so being honest with themselves about something here, cancer. Always a good thing. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Okay, so they're being honest about them, honest about themselves, honest um, with themselves regarding a situation or an attachment that they're in right now. Something that they have to be free of could be freedom from unhealthy environments, toxic energy, um, freedom from fear, doubt, friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. All right. What I got from that card is, you know, what I'm thinking and picturing in my, in my mind right now is a supportive network. Um, friends that are able to help you. Friends that help us um, center ourselves. Friends that get us, you know. Um, I just thought of that. It could be that your person needs support at this time. Um, or maybe friends will help them with whatever is happening. For others of you, I'm also picking up here friendship. It's almost like you guys, you and this person are just friends right now. You're not in any sort of romantic connection, even though feelings may be there. All right, what would this person tell you? Let's get some more info. You see my homemade deck here. What would this person tell Cancer Spirit if they could? What would they say to Cancer? Any other insight that we can get? 2020 regarding this connection I keep seeing the soulmate card here so some of you um, this is a very strong connection hey excuse you excuse my children guys and look see I keep seeing it They're being nosy they think that since mom is working she's not gonna be paying attention to the shenanigans going on in the background they better behave, otherwise you're going in your doggy beds in the other room. All right, for cancer. What would this person tell cancer if they could? See what I'm saying? Unhealthy attachments. Unhealthy attachments. Your person, um, I feel, needs to free themselves from something here that I think is unhealthy or is an attachment, period. You know, keeps them back, holds them back. What else would this person tell Cancer? Can we not have faith? And at the bottom of the deck, I feel alone. Who had these two cards? Was it Sagittarius? I think Sagittarius also had I feel alone at the bottom of the deck. Don't quote me on that. So let's see what happened in this connection between you and this person. Spirit, what happened in this connection between Cancer and this person? What went on here? What went on here between Cancer and this person? What do we need to know about this connection? What went on in this connection, sir? What is going on here? What do I need to know about Cancer and this person? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment.
So have faith that this will move forward. I'm trying to figure out what the have faith card. Have faith that I will get myself out of this mess. <laughs> Let's hope. What else do we need to know about cancer and this person's connection? Unrequited love. Not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going. Interesting. It, that's probably why for some of you I'm getting that you're just friends now at this time. Maybe your person is realizing that they have more feelings for you than they thought they did. Or it could also be that at this time, one of you is able to give more than the other. And so there's an imbalance here. Express your love. Okay, so I don't think this is, I think the for the cancers that I'm talking to here, I don't think this is like a full on commitment at this time. It's at the bottom. Getting to know each other. So still having conversations here, revealing your innermost selves to each other. Actually, I'll put this over here because you can see it. So let's get into the tarot. I'm going to be doing two mini spreads here. One for how this person truly feels about you and the other one, their true intentions. So let's get more insight here for Cancer Spirit. What are their true thoughts or feelings towards cancer at this time? Their true thoughts, feelings, or intentions at this time. If you hear any noises in the background, there's a thunderstorm going on. All right, so what does this person think or feel? towards cancer or this connection does sloppy using the light seers tarot right now how does this person think or what do they feel towards cancer their true thoughts or feelings please what do we need to know for cancer okay whoa seven of swords reverse Ace of Cups reverse. The Sun. Cancer, what is happening here? Cancers always have really crazy readings, I have to say. True thoughts or feelings. And I have Seven of Swords reverse, which is all about getting caught lying or doing something they're not supposed to be doing ace of cups reverse huge disappointment and heartbreak and then the sun happiness joy success and light it's almost like your person's It's almost like, you know what I'm picking up? Really weird. Queen of Cups reverse. Wow. I'm picking up that your person, whoever this is here, because this could be all about your person or you, Cancer. Take it as it resonates. Flip it if it resonates more. Someone doesn't want to admit how they feel because they're scared to be heartbroken, even though they're happy. I also get the sense that they're in an unhealthy attachment, but focusing on you. And so it's almost like they're doing something wrong here. I'm going to clarify and see. And with the Queen of Cups reverse, this could be you, Cancer, here at the bottom. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is somebody who's attached emotionally to something. This could be part of the unhealthy attachment here that maybe this person is has an unhealthy attachment towards you or it has something to do with you. It's almost like maybe you came into the picture and now they're seeing things differently and recognizing that they need to be honest with themselves 
about the position that they put themselves in. You know, it's like someone in a relationship or living life thinking that their life is everything they imagined it would be. Um, you know, they're quote unquote happy, but then someone comes along that truly makes them happy, truly makes them want, like miss them and want to be with them. And it's like that missing piece that they never knew was missing. And so now their world is not as complete as before. And I'm thinking of that because I have the, I feel alone card here. So it's almost like this person feels alone in an unhealthy attachment or in an unhealthy situation. Okay, let's get into this. Well, what are this person's true intentions towards cancer? Let's see if I'm right. What is this person's true intention spirit when it comes to cancer or this connection? What is this person's true intentions? Six of cups reverse. So someone here stuck in the past your person has not been able to let go of the past here or has some sort of attachment to the past here. What else? Let me move this Put it over here. What else for their true intentions towards cancer? Four of cups. I thought of that. I feel alone card. Like nothing is really interesting me right now. Nothing is as good as this cup in my mind. Um, they could be missing an opportunity because they're so focused on what hasn't worked out, what they don't have, et cetera, et cetera. This could be that soulmate card too, the six of cups reversed, the soulmate card that I kept getting here. What else do I need to know about this person's true intentions? Wow. The wheel. So they want big changes here. They want to make big changes here. Maybe it just hasn't been the right time for you both. All right, let's get into this. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for cancer, please. Show me the messages that you want me to see for cancer. Messages you want me to see here. Let's clarify. Let's start with the Seven of Swords, which completely threw me off here. What is the Seven of Swords reverse about? Why is the Seven of Swords reversed in their true thoughts or feelings? Page of Pentacles. What else? What else can you tell me about this Seven of Swords reverse? Five of Wands reversed. So they're thinking about an opportunity. They want to overcome the drama, the difficulty, overcome whatever is going on here. And yet it's like they're approaching this opportunity or making this opportunity or offer. I'm sorry. It's like they're okay. It's like they're thinking about how to make an offer or go after an opportunity, but not doing it in the most ethical way. Tell me about the seven of swords reverse one more, please. Could be that they're trying to do this in secret or hide this and they're not going to be able to hide it two of pentacles reversed so it, it's almost like they're juggling two things two situations or maybe juggling a little too much and then finally something has some something has to give or they choose one it could be one way of making this offer or one way to overcome a situation here yep Five of Swords reverse. So I feel like if this is not a an existing connection or if this never took off, it's almost like something was over before it began with the Five of Swords. And almost like it ended badly with the Five of Swords reversed. There was some sort of deception here. 
Tell me about the Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, Nine of Cups reverse. So this was a very disappointing. It's almost like your person, this person hurt you in some way and they know it. They could have been hurt by someone in their past as well. Or maybe you hurt them. You, um, they're feeling this way towards you. Like when they think about you, they think about how much you hurt them or vice versa. Wow. There's more of that soulmate energy with the two of cups. So they still love you. They still believe in this partner. They have feelings for you, even if they haven't admitted it. They feel very strong. It's a strong connection. And I don't think they've communicated this. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? Hangman, clarity. This is all about clarity, enlightenment. This is that honesty card. Seeing things clearly. So when it comes to you, they're seeing clearly. They're seeing things in a new perspective. Gaining clarity here. Yeah, enough to communicate. They probably have been observing you, doing research, or watching how things have unfolded between you, or like reviewing things that they've communicated to you. Maybe they just want to tell you. They're ready to tell you now. Express your love. And I think this has been a long time coming because I have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So what's the Six of Cups reversed about? Move this over here. What's the Six of Cups reversed about? is all about the past here knight of wands this person could be from your past here so they want to go after something they want to move on something that's their intention and it has something to do with the past tell me more about the six of cups reverse please spirit wow the tower unexpected whatever move they make is unexpected you're not you're not going to be able to um prepare for it it's just going to hit you because i think this person is is revealing their true feelings it's like there there's something that they're going to do either they're going to express how they feel or they're going to make a move towards you and both of those things i feel will be surprising shocking and cause a big change here yeah, look at this, Page of Cups. Clear as day here, Cancer. Someone's gonna express their love, express their emotions, tell you how they feel. Um, let go, you know, not hold on so, so tightly to things, not hold back. What's this Four of Cups about? I, I just think of this, I feel alone card with this. Three of Cups. What else can you tell me about this Four of Cups? Death Reverse, Six of Swords. Wow. Scorpio Energy with the Death card reverse there. Transitioning, moving forward, leaving difficulty behind. And then I have the death card reverse. So it's almost like someone is resisting a change or a transformation. Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. So I think part of the surprise is that
that they want to come together in some way. And I feel like whatever ending they're going through, whatever tower moment, situation, unhealthy situation they're going to, it's almost like you never thought they were going to end that. Maybe the communication like stalled between you. Maybe this person withdrew completely. Um, you didn't know what they felt. And it's like in that time, there has been a change. This can mean a delayed rebirth here with the death card reversed because I have it with the Three of Cups and the Six of Swords. So it's not that someone doesn't want something in their life to change. It's maybe that it's going to take a little bit of time, but they're definitely moving forward. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Look at this. The Devil unhealthy attachments right here and that is with the wheel of fortune so something's changing with this unhealthy attachment what else can you tell me capricorn energy with the devil here what else can you tell me about the uh, wheel of fortune please king of wands Someone's going to take matters into their own hands and change the situation. Yeah, and look what just popped up here. The Empress. To grow something new. For sure. Not only are they, it's almost like they're, they're going to cause a tower, but they're going to build off of that tower. 